This is Get Me Greek. Welcome to my channel. A hundred followers in ten days on Twitch. Hey! Oh, oh my God! Ah, bro! I started Twitch about ten days ago, and I had zero expectation going to this. Like, I wouldn't get any followers. Nobody would be watching my stream. What's the strategy here? And I did some research online, and people say that you gotta find the rush hour, such as 3 to 6 p.m. Eastern time, or such as midnight. Some others say it's early in the morning, where you have an opportunity more people is online on Twitch. You have a better chance to get more viewers. Um, however, I disagree. I don't feel that's the right option, because I tried to execute that strategy a few times in the very beginning on Twitch, and the big dogs like Asmongol, Flat 2, and other people love them shout out but again when they're live most people are going to click on the video first before everybody else so you want to be live when you're online and they're not online you have a better chance to get viewers but was is that the reason why i got 100 followers in 10 days no here's the secret and i am about to tell you warning please be advised this may not work but it does work for me so this is not a fact but an opinion based on my personal experience are you ready okay so, when I got on Twitch, I did some critical thinking. There was Fortnite, Overwatch, Valorant, Counter-Strike, World of Warcraft. Surprisingly, it's still a big hit to this day. Um, I decided to play Overwatch because I've been playing since 2016 and I'm a master role challenger. But the point is, if I am good at something to play, Overwatch is one of the friendless community. It can be toxic, but it is in the top tier friendly compared to other games such as Dota 2, Counter-Strike, Pig Bowl can be very toxic. Where am I going with this? I'll tell you. So here's the secret. At the beginning of the game, you go in the chat and make sure it is small and condensed don't say anything crazy or political or nothing just be honest and be simple so this is how i wrote feel free to follow get me greek on twitch dash we love to grind and grow a bigger community that's it or you can say some other stuff like that keep it short and consolidated because if you write too long people are going to be irritated and they don't want to read your message now the next strategy is for example on overwatch when the game starts i normally do copy and paste i'm not very proud of myself but you guys start somewhere to find some standing ground with your viewers so you can grow your community so you can stop doing that but for now if you start your twitch channel this is the next strategy when the game starts do not copy and paste right away because people will think you did copy and paste a lot of people said that to me based on my personal experience and i actually learned from that so maybe into 10 seconds as the game counting down go ahead and enter that message now here's the hardest part of getting 100 followers in 10 days you must have discipline integrity and put a happy face on the camera the whole time now when you send that message to the whole map here's the thing 75 percent of the time people are going to say hardcore toxic the most ugliest thing to say to your face no screw you you're fake you're a fraud i, I don't want to watch you you're nobody all those names you're going to absorb it so much that you may get your feelings tiny tiny any bit hurt no the other 25 percent of the time people could be like oh yeah let me check you out okay what's your username get me great cool i'll check you out great you got 25 percent out of say five which is great. So the next theme, which is part three strategy, uh, people sometimes check you and know the gameplay, or most of the time after the gameplay, they'll check your streaming real quick. When the audience send you a message from the game that you send a message to or anywhere else, make sure you engage with the audience. Make sure that you actually care, that you sincerely do care what they're about to say to you. Read their name out loud and then read their statement. It'll make them feel very special and want it and reward it in some way. A chemistry is released in your brain. So when people do that, great. Sometimes you can ask them, hey, I feel free to stay in touch with me, follow me. We can play some games later, stuff like that. Have some standing grounds. So that's strategy one. Go to a game, release a message. Strategy two, do not post it right away. Just wait for a few seconds into the match. Strategy three, you gotta tolerate 75% of the toxic chat that's about to launch at your face and then engage with the audience. Those are three major big steps. Now, um, to be quite frank, the first few days did quite take off. It went from zero up to 20, and then it went faster and faster and faster. Just think like this for a second. It's like a snowball effect, right? It rolled down the hill, it goes bigger and bigger and bigger. The numbers multiply. And in another sense, a shout out to Stephen Graham, the investor and YouTuber, love that guy. He said one time, investment actually grows. You have a few followers, it multiplies into your multitude. That's how the snowball effect works for Twitch. So if you disagree with me, with about to say during this um 
whole tutorial of how to get 100 followers in 10 days. Uh, it's not a guarantee. Remember, be yourself, engage with the audience, smile, and keep doing what you're doing, and keep grinding. Now, um, a quick shout out. I actually do not do this. When you go online and you want to introduce yourself and you have Twitch, you can do it at the beginning of the match or the end. Do not do both ways. People will report you. And another great advice, um, don't use your main account because my main account got reported for no reason. I was being nice. I was say, hey, good luck, have fun. So yeah, um, use a secondary account or a smurf account, wherever you have, and just play safe. Uh, so yeah, that's actually really it. Well, this is Gimme Greek, and I'll see you guys later.